Michael from MyRaw.com. And look at this 73 Camaro. It's the last of the chrome bumper Camaros. My favorite run, the second gen, the chrome bumper Camaros, I call them. You know, in 74, things changed radically and continue to change radically throughout time. So to me, it's the last of the classics. I mean, I like some of the later model cars, but they fall off a cliff after this car right here. So this one, here's the color chart, PPP color chart. And something funny about 73 is how boring they got with the names for their colors. In 72, they've got exotic names. Just the name of the color makes you fall in love. Well, listen to this color right here. This is my uh, top two favorite colors for 73. It's gorgeous. The name, dark red. <laughs> yeah, my other favorite color is called dark blue. Just as boring, but they're the two most beautiful colors in 1973, dark red and dark blue. It's a matter of opinion, but I bet a lot of people share that opinion with me. So what do we have? We've got a Z28 Rally Sport. So it's not just a chrome bumper 73, uh, it's the ultimate 73. Factory Z28, and you can tell by looking at the cow, it'll say, well, on the trim tag, it'll say Z28. There's no faking that. The history passed off on this car is very interesting. Uh, Floyd Garrett's Muscle Car Museum apparently had this car for some amount of time. And um, it's supposedly a low mileage car, but it's had a super paint and body restoration. And the original numbers matching engine was very thoughtfully taken out and a high performance 350 put in so the owner could, well, hot rod, his hot rod. And uh, this is an extremely fast Camaro. 73 was down on um, horsepower from 1970, but this will outrun a 70 Z28 easily because it's just modified to that point. Now, it's all reversible. You can never, you know, there's nothing about this car that would give you any indication it's ever had a bad day in its life, but some people like to go fast. You know, kudos to you hot rodders out there, especially those that know how to hot rod while preserving the car. And this car has been beautifully preserved. Now, the bummer is um, I'm out of time to do a test drive video. It's being picked up today. I sold it. But if you watch the rest of this video, you can watch the experience of my wife and I traveling to Alabama to get this car. And uh, the truth is I sold it before I even purchased it. It's just one of those deals. That happens from time to time where I'm looking at a car and uh, someone's talking to me and that's the very car they're looking for. And, you know, I pass on to them. If the car turns out to be a great car, I'll buy it. And since we're already talking, you can buy it. So that's what happened with this car. I never got to enjoy it. Most of my cars, I get to spend a little time behind the wheel. And when I have time, I do a test drive uh, video for you guys. Sorry, we're not gonna have time for that. The truck will be here any minute. I just remembered to even do this part of the video. But let's take a little closer look to the car, at the car, look at the interior, look at the car overall. It truly is a stunning machine. The body's gorgeous, the paint is gorgeous. The white stripes are fantastic. I'll have to show you pictures of my blue car. In fact, let me put a little B-roll in right here. It's really the only other one that's ever impressed me at the level that this car impresses me that I have here today. Now on the blue car, we're actually resto modding it. It was a former numbers matching car and uh, boo, boo, hiss, hiss, I know. But it's getting a crate LS3 in a six speed and about $50,000 worth of upgrades. But it's going to look very much like the factory car. It's going to be hard to tell it's been resto modded until you lift the hood. It'll be pretty obvious. And of course, we did four wheel disc brakes, modern disc brakes, so we could no longer run the factory tires. But we got bought and installed the closest facsimile that we could find. So stay tuned for that car because that car, oh, that car, that car is going to be very special. It's where the market's going. And if you really want to enjoy a vintage car, this is one of the best ones to resto mod because out of the box from the factory, it's a nice handling car. In fact, 
I consider this first gen Camaro to be the first, uh, in, in the world of vintage cars, the first modern car in terms of what the experience is like behind the wheel. Okay, if you'd like to go to uh, Alabama with me to pick up this car, stay with me for the rest of the video. Forgive me for not doing a test drive. It's criminal because this car is amazing, uh, but I just ran out of time. So, all right, check out the rest of the video. Okay, so here we are chasing classic cars again, and my wife and I are heading to Alabama to pick up a really cool car. Yeah, we only buy them if we love them, and this is one that I personally love and personally love to own. It's a 73 Z28 Rally Sport Camaro. We're going to be staying in a really cool Airbnb that my wife found, former U-Haul storage truck or of some sort that's been converted, so she picked that for uh, a reason that I'm sure will be pretty clear to us once we get there. We're looking forward to seeing that. I think it'll be fun. Okay, the first big city since we left the Dallas-Fort Worth area, it's, it's Shreveport, Shreveport, Louisiana. Well, we're heading into Mississippi, and we're fixing to cross the greatest river in all the land, the Great Mississippi River. Okay, we just hit Alabama, last state, and we still have uh, two hours and 24 minutes to go. Coffee's pretty good, so we're gonna make it. Let's just keep going. Okay, I'm somewhere in the woods of Alabama. My rig's over there, you can see it under that light. And uh, where am I? <laughs> well, I'm in this little tiny house right here that apparently was a U-Haul truck at one time. Let me see if we can show you that. Oh yeah, there's the uh, reflector from the U-Haul truck. This is the back of the U-Haul truck. And uh, it's, now, it's now a tiny house. So, yeah, I'll go show you inside the tiny house. The porch right here. The bath is already in here. Hi, Beth. Hey. And uh, yeah, so there's the bedroom up there. Ceiling, bed, stairs. Very cool. And a couch to sit on. Very cool. Counter. The bar right there. Bathroom. Cool ceiling. Barn door here. The bathroom. Shower. Yeah. This was a U-Haul trailer or a truck. Built that's, he built it himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The fellow built it himself. He did a good job. Yeah. And we thought it would be interesting to stay here. So here we are at a little U-Haul converted tiny home in the woods of Alabama. <laughs> and it's called, oh, it's called the Yeehaw. Instead of the U-Haul, it's the Yeehaw. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna go back out to the truck and get the rest of my stuff. And we're gonna try to have a good night's sleep after eating fried catfish. Not, not a good move. All right, well, we'll talk again in the morning and we'll go get that Camaro. Well, it's morning at the Hee Haw and you can see why it's called that. And there it is. That's what we stayed in last night. Yeah. So we're on a farm in Alabama. There's your sunrise blasting over the hill. Rooster was going off pretty early this morning. No problem. And there's the rig and the chickens. Yeah. I hear birds. Roosters, farm sounds. So my goal now is to get my coffee out of that Suburban right there with all the chickens around it and uh, have 
first cup of coffee. <laughs> well, good morning again. Here we are. We're, we left the Key Hall and uh, we're in beautiful. Key Hall. Yee Hall. Okay, the Yee Hall. I've been saying it wrong. The beautiful hills of Alabama. Here we go. We're heading out to get a 73 Rally Sport Z28 Camaro that supposedly is nice enough to fall deeply in love with and be a, be a keeper. So here we go. We, we hope so. Let's go. You don't shift this shifter up from low to second when you drop slow back down it's going to drop back to low and it's going to be a hell of a mess at 60 miles an hour you'll see what i'm talking about here in a second okay Second to drive, it ain't never gonna shift. Uh -huh. You'll run out of balls. Okay. She's coming home. She's got a whole lot of attitude if you run it just right. You're going to love this one, Tyler. It's got some old school hot rod update upgrades that uh, make it even more brutal than it would have been. All correctable and reversible, which I think is the right thing to do. All right, it's time to put it on that trailer and head back to Texas. Wow, we've got a long drive. Well, it's in the trailer. There's the original VIN matching block. Very cool, uh, very important on a car that has the provenance that this car has and the original heads and a bunch of mo motor parts are in the front of the trailer and in the back of this vehicle. So, and then there's my pile over there. Gotta figure out how to get home with all this. And I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna get home safely without hurting anything. But yeah, that's a treasure right there. No doubt. Floyd Garrett Museum car, pretty cool.